Ooh, silly, silly thing. Okay. All right. So oh, with your chalk, I want you guys to choose one of your shapes. And we're going to put it on the paper any place you want. So it can go anywhere. And then we're going to trace a circle around it with your chalk. So it will look like that when you're done. If you like the size of it, you can make one more. I like to usually do a big one, a medium sized one. Yep, those will work. Those crayons will work. And also, I like to use smaller ones. So I'm going to get my big bubble or my bigger one going right over here. You can put yours wherever you like on your paper. So I might do another big one up here. There we go. So you should have maybe two or three bubbles, bigger ones. And then in your little gaps, we'll put a couple small bubbles. I'm going to get one way up here. Let's see if I have anything. Oh, look, I'm going to take the lid off of my water bottle and I'm going to make an even smaller one down here. So I would say anywhere from four to seven bubbles, I think is probably a good number. Can I make my bubble and I think? I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. I'm done, I think I'm done. Okay, you can have, I would say anywhere from four to seven bubbles, I think that's just fine. We're going to start doing something to the bubbles, though, with our chalk and with our crayons. Do you guys ever notice when you blow bubbles, do you ever look at them? Yeah. How do they look? How would you describe them? We know they're round, but how else do they look? They look see-through. Okay, see-through. What else? Colorful. Colorful. Yeah, they look colorful. Anything else? Do you ever notice that they kind of shimmer in the sun? Yeah, they do, don't they? Yep, I'd get a couple more on there, Sadie. Go ahead. Well, we're going to make them colorful and we're going to make them appear like they're shimmering, okay? So I'm going to get you a little bit closer, whoops, to my screen. Can you guys choose one bubble right now to work with? Go ahead and choose one bubble. I'm going to do one of my big ones so that way you can see it a little better. We're going to make it look like the light is shining right on them. So we're going to make a little shape with our chalk. So choose a bubble and grab your chalk. All right. We're going to decide which way the light is shining. So I'm going to have it look like it's shining from over here, maybe. So that means that there's going to be a little mark. 
and it kind of looks like a fang. Looks like a snake fang or something. I'm going to I'm going to make that a really dark chalk mark. So you can press a little bit harder as you draw one of those. And then I'm going to move to my smaller bubble and do the same thing, but it but my fang is going to be a little smaller, okay? Make it look like the light shining on them. Okay, so I'll do that to my bubbles, and you guys can do the same. Make like a little fang. Notice how all of mine are kind of in the same area on my bubbles, because that's where my light's coming from. So it's like reflecting back this way. There we go. I can't make I can't make the thing look good. That's okay because bubbles aren't really perfect anyway. Because when the wind blows on them, they change shape a little bit, right? Because something's pushing on them, they're not round. But then when the wind stops, they're like that. Mhm. Mm so I've got it on all my bubbles. Go ahead and do that step real quick. And then we're going to use our fingers. All right. I'm going to take my fingers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smudge just a little bit on these lines. So I'll rub it very gently to make it look like they're not totally see-through because they've got that solution on them. It looks kind of oily. So I'll show you what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to brush out just a little bit. I'm going to make it look like this. I'm going to get you real close so you can see what I've done, okay? See how it's kind of blurry there? Go ahead and do that to each of your fang marks or your sun marks. They're going to get a little blurry. So real gentle with your finger. Rub it kind of outward. Ooh, someone's listening to some good jams. Woo! I wish I had my microphone. Ta -da. There you go, yep. Get those smudges going a little bit. 
There. Looks a little more artistic already. Wombly, if you want to watch us doing that art, doing this art project, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to post this video, though, on Schoology. So then when you get your packet with these materials, you can also view it there, too, okay? But if you, if you would like to... Um, if you'd like to exit your Zoom meeting because of your tummy, you can do that too, okay? But feel free to stay and watch. I think I'm going to stay and watch. All right, sounds good. And then you'll know how to do it. Sure. All right, does everybody have that smudging stuff going on? Because now we'll need our crayons. What sort of colors do you guys notice in bubbles? I don't have crayons or anything. You don't? Pink and green. Pinks, greens, and yellows. Okay, Keenan, I'll see if I can send this one home then for you, okay? And blues? Yeah. Wait a minute. Pink, green, yellow, blue, red, orange. Those sound like colors of the rainbow, right? Yep. So what I would do is I would pick maybe one or two colors. Ooh, those are looking good, you guys. And we're going to put those colors into the bubbles. And I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Because we don't want to color the bubbles. I've never seen a bubble that is like a perfect pink color. It's just shiny pink. So I think I'm going to do like a... A yellow, maybe a pink. Um, these will show up on my purple. But if I chose purple on purple, it's not going to show up. So I can't choose purple because I have a purple um, construction paper. Does anybody have green construction paper? You probably won't choose green because you won't be able to see it, right? Okay, Lawrence, I saw yours was red. So you won't want to choose red to put in here because your paper is red and you can't see it. So choose maybe two colors. I'm going to choose yellow and pink right now for mine because they do show up. And I'm going to try to get real close again. I'm going to choose this big bubble so you can see it. And I'm not going to color my entire bubble yellow because that's not what bubbles look like. They're not colorful in the middle. They're colorful on the sides of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little color, and I'll show you how to do that. We'll kind of get a little bit dark. I saw a thing. I got a question. Yeah. Give me just a second, and we're going we're gonna to kind of outline the bubble. Something like that. Not too dark. And not too much color, just a little bit. Can you see my yellow on there? And I'm also going to add some pink, and then I'll hold it up. Okay, who had the question? Go ahead. Um, I think I might want to get it off because my tummy really hurts. Yeah, go ahead and do that, honey. I hope you feel better. Make sure you tell mom that you're not feeling good, okay? Thank you for joining us anyway. And I'm going to look forward to seeing your bubble art on Schoology when you post it, all right? Maybe tomorrow. Bye. All right, I'm going to add some pink in just a second. Okay, so here's kind of what mine look like so far. I outlined a little bit of the bubble, and then on this one, I kind of did like a little zigzag a little bit like that, but it's not too big. So I'll let you guys do that on one of your bubbles. Can you see mine? Kind of looks like it's bigger on the bottom. And then when it goes toward the center, I get a little smaller. So you guys can do that. And then 
It's not looking too artistic yet. So here's what we have to do. We can't blend it like the chalk because it's not powdery. So you need your white crayon. Anybody have a white crayon? I'm going to use a white crayon. If you don't have one, it's okay. It will still look all right, but white crayons will blend. And I'm going to push a little bit on my yellow color, and I'm going to try to drag the yellow a little bit further. But I want to make sure that my white stays on top of my yellow. I'm going to try to drag it a little further. There it goes. I'm going to show you mine in just a second. Let me get my pink going too. Drag it a little bit. I'm going to color right over those ones. So then it looks like that we still have the white as part of our soap solution. It's a little faded, but it doesn't take away that beautiful bright color. It's 1B6. That's all right. If you got to go, you can go. I'm just doing this art project because I like to do activities with our lessons. I've got. I don't got to go. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what time it is. Thank you. We're going to do one more thing to this bubble, and then I'm going to let you do all the other bubbles on your own, okay? We're going to make it look like it's sparkling a little bit. Are you ready? So we need to take our chalk crayon one more time. Well, I guess it's not a chalk crayon. It's just chalk. And I'm going to put, it's going to look like a little star. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to press really hard. It's going to look like this. See that? And then I'm going to take my finger again and I'm going to make it go outward. There, look at that. Looking fancy. I'll do one more. Okay. Oh, I think I might do it right down here. I don't know. Maybe right over here. So I'm going to press really hard and I'm going to make kind of a star. Press hard. See how I did that? And then I'm going to drag it with my finger. Makes it look nice and shiny in the sun. There you go. Mrs. Walkling, can I log off? Because I have to yep. go somewhere and get dressed. You absolutely can. And then you can do the rest on your own, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. You bet. I'll see you. And Sadie, Keenan, and Luna. If you guys are pretty confident too, you can do the rest of your bubbles on your own at your house, but I would love for you to post a picture of your bubble art when you're done. I've got a little discussion board. I'd love to see them. Oh my goodness, look at them. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, 
did a great job. All right. I will see you. Thanks for doing a lesson and art with me today.